Greetings from me, Chaz Deacon, here in South Devon. I've just returned from a trip to southern India. Whilst you were freezing in sub-zero January and February, we've experienced 38 degrees and the most wonderfully warm welcome of Indian friends and partners of Rice India. That's more than 6,000 miles from here. The purpose of my visit was twofold. Firstly, to see the progress of our Rice India project. It's been called Torbay House. To see just how far the building had come and how near to completion. The second reason was to visit the family of Pastor Paul Gadela. Paul was tragically killed last June, and so I wanted to take your love and compassion to his wife Ratna and Paul's three children. We continue to support them financially, and I thank you for your help and assistance in enabling us to do just that. This short DVD begins with a lovely photo of Paul's two youngest children. I was deeply impressed how Paul's family and church are still seeking to reach out with the same love that fired Paul to build a children's home in the first place. This short film is in memorial and love for Paul, a remarkable man of God. I'm thrilled to be able to report that the construction of Torbay House is going along very well. You'll be seeing the building, the other Paul, Pastor Paul Rajan, who now leads the project, and meet some of the children who will move in as soon as the building is completed. I want to take this opportunity to personally thank everyone so much for their support for the project in giving and raising money. To date, that has risen to £39,000. That's pretty good in 15 months. Amongst our supporters, the Torquay schools have been incredibly generous and hard-working, and I'm really impressed by their kindness and hard work. As the Indian economy has got stronger, so the exchange rate between the rupee and the pound has not gone in our favour. Two years ago, 83 rupee, rupees to the pound, and now 68. That's almost a 20% fall. Combined with labour and material cost rises, this means we will still have to raise a further £12,000 to complete. If you can help, that would be marvellous. Now enjoy the beautiful side of Colour for India before we show you some of the more challenging social conditions and then how your kindness is making a real difference. The first part of our journey shows you some of the vivid colour and the great appeal of India. A family picnic, the thousands of acres of tea gardens. These grow above 5,000 feet and we travelled through them on the way down Mount Dodabeta. Here you can see the pickers working so hard for so little money. So many different species of tree and here some of these native trees can be seen and then the beautiful backwaters of Kerala, one of India's most southerly states. We hired this boat for nine people. Two hours with driver for four pounds. Not bad. Here we see the coast of Kerala with its fishermen. Yeah. These cantilevered um, <coughs> structures, I don't know how they work. These huge jackfruits taste like pineapple and grow up to 50 feet above your head. Watch out below! Coconuts. Everyone drinks the milk of at least one coconut per day to help keep blood water balanced. This is the one which is there using for Here, my mum tries tapioca, prepared by our friend from Torquay, John, who has a home out in Kerala. Remember those puddings of long ago? Tapioca puddings. <laughs> this rubber plantation is managed by the family who produce sheets of rubber for commercial sale. 
The latex is tapped, mixed with an acid and rolled into sheets. Kerala is a major producer of rubber on the world scene. The trees have to be tapped every day in the season. And here comes the fresh latex. Yeah, that's a fresh latex. Yeah. And uh, how long will that drip for? Uh, more than two hours. No, no, more than two hours. More than two hours. More than two hours. It's hard work keeping cattle, and you can see this man cleaning his uh, with just a little straw in his hand. <laughs> An incredibly colourful wedding with lots of noise and tradition, and wait for it, 600 guests would be considered a small affair. The bride, poor girl, and groom are placed in a fairy tale setting of pink. It was really spectacular. This dad shows us parenting, love, and commitment at its best. But there is another side to life in India, with thousands of orphans caught up in poverty, slavery, and terrible personal sadness and tragedy. So with your help, we're making a difference. Pastor Paul Rajan, our project leader, and first sight of some of the children whose lives will be transformed by your money, your kindness, and your commitment. Our first glimpse of Torbay House, an emotional moment, and my amazement at just how big it is. So let's take a closer look. Over there to the ground floor. The whole building's got 4,000 square feet and this is where the boys are going to be accommodated on the ground floor and then we're going over to the right and this is the what area is this here Paul? This is for the home parents to live in the middle and then on the right there's a dining room and then at the end there's the kitchen okay and then we look upstairs and we're going to see the big uh, study room there, um, prayer room. And then next to that is the girls' accommodation. Across to the left, uh, the girls' dormitory and the toilets. These are the security people who keep um, oversight of the project at night, make sure the building materials stay here. Ready, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. So you can imagine how tough it is uh, making these blocks. And then they're carried once constructed. So here's one, fresh. How long do they take to dry, Paul? Ah, that it will take at least, uh, at least a week. To curing, water cure. So as they say, these are some that uh, they made earlier. So just coming up the staircase, and then we can see onto the first floor, the girls' dormitory. Just have a look at that scaffolding, you health and safety people. Then up to the roof level. Uh, what age are the girls that are carrying the bridges? Uh, 
and this will be the view off the roof. Rosemary Deacon greets the children. Echoes of the Queen on the balcony at Buckingham Palace. So here we are in uh, the very centre of Torbay House and the construction is about, well, it's well over halfway completed and these are some of the children, there are going to be about 30 of them who will be able to live in this beautiful house and it's on the outskirts of the village of Parakavudi in Tamil Nadu and there are about uh, 600 residents in this village 300 of them, 50% of the village community, are Dalits. That means they're the very lowest caste, known as the untouchables. And so we're making a big, big difference. And these children will go to school locally. They'll be able to help, uh, be help with their studies in the evening here. down the makeshift stairs. The children will continue to be educated at the local school and be supported back at the home during the evening. They have a passion to learn, as you've just seen, and it's the home you are providing and the education they will receive that will transform their lives. So on their behalf, I thank you so very much. Thank you.